This really is a driver's nightmare. That three foot steel rod, it came crashing through a local woman's windshield as she crossed the Brent Spence Bridge. She relived that terrifying experience with Local 12's Alexa Hellwig. More than 160,000 cars travel across the Brent Spence Bridge every day. Sarah Bishop is one of those drivers. Tuesday, she made her way from Florence into Cincinnati for work at a local hospital. We got there and they were like, you're not supposed to be here today. So um, I like drove down like a couple exits so I could get on like 7175. Um, just like a normal day, just like merged onto the highway. As she got back onto the Brent Spence Bridge, the unthinkable happened. Like all of a sudden I just hear like a loud crash. Like it sounded like I got hit, like rear-ended or someone sideswiped me. Instead, a three foot steel rod flew right into Sarah's windshield. It happened so fast, she couldn't tell which direction it came from. Glass instantly shattered inside the car. I do remember having like some of the glass on my face and my first reaction without even thinking about, oh my gosh, it's little shards of glass, was just to like wipe my eyes, but just to make sure there was nothing in my eyes, but it definitely got everywhere. It took like two showers to get the shards of glass out of my hair. Since it happened, Sarah's been thinking about worst case scenarios. She could have been badly hurt. Now she just wants to know where it came from. It was right here at my dash and like I drive here and it went through my vent. So it was like maybe a foot from me where it went through. The Brent Spence Bridge is still getting repaired. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says it conducted an investigation immediately. Interviews were done with the contractor who's working on the current painting project on the bridge. They say no material like this is being used in their work and it didn't originate from the structure. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Crews found more debris on the highway, which the Transportation Department says likely means that it fell from another vehicle carrying scrap metal.